I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, my guest, Miss Courtney Barrett. I met you at a go-kart track, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Because yes, you race go-karts and my son races go-karts. I used to drag race, and I know what it was like to be the woman on the track, and you're one of the few women who race mm -hmm. go-karts, aren't you? Yes, sir. And you've been doing it how long? About a year. About a year. Now, um, my Nick loves go-kart racing. He loves it so much, we cut our trip to Alaska short. He was in Alaska fishing, and we had to come home to go to the state race where we saw you. So um, it's good to have hobbies, but sometimes they run into each other, don't they? <laughs> now, do you fish? Yes, I do. Good. What do you like to fish for? Um, anything bass. We have a little pond in our neighborhood. Do we you? Fish for all the time. Well, tonight we're going to cook some halibut. And uh, Nick brought this in from Alaska, and I've never tried this recipe before, but it sounded really good, and it sounded kind of strange. I'd never cooked with potato flakes. But our breading is going to be potato flakes. The recipe is in a cookbook that my daughter brought me back from Homer, Alaska, called The Best of the Best from Alaska Cookbook. So we've cut the little halibut into chunks, and we are going to batter it in ranch dressing and then we're going to drop it into potato flakes. Now that just sounded strange to me. What do you think about it? Have you ever cooked with potato flakes before? Never used Never potato. have. And see how white they are. I wasn't sure how it was going to work but we're going to try it. What do you think? Let's give it a shot. Let's do it. We did these in one inch bites. They're not very big and they don't take very long to cook and you have to be careful. Just like you have to be careful with your nails when you're racing because those hot pink fingernails <laughs> could get caught in a steering wheel, mm -hmm. couldn't they? Now you gotta be careful about that. Now we're taking our halibut, uh, dipping it in ranch dressing and then Courtney's rolling it in the potato flakes, which is just really strange. And it's really strange to have a race car driver with hot pink fingernails, isn't it? <laughs> it is, it is, that is so cute. Do you ever break a nail when you're racing? No. No, that's the important but they get thing. <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. You know, the first day I saw you, you had dirt and grease all down the side of your face, and I thought that was the cutest thing. I said, wow, wow. That was kind of like in Alaska. Women don't care if they shave their legs, don't care if their hair's messed up, and don't care if they have on makeup. <laughs> Race girls have that attitude too, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yep. We know what's important in life. Our friend Linda Reinhardt from Alaska said the one important thing about cooking seafood is don't overcook this. And one of the restaurants we ate in, we think it did because it was a little bit dry and uh, you have to really be cautious about that. So don't overcook your halibut. Now Miss Courtney, that was as fast and easy as you going around the track. And I bet it's going to be better than a win at a state race. What do you think? I think so. I think so. Now, Miss Courtney, those look great. They were fast, and there's something that can make them even better. The only thing wrong with the state of Alaska is they don't have sweet tea. Now, on race night, how important it is to take a gallon of Mayfield sweet tea to the track with you. And we all know I don't measure, but I can guarantee you that's just about the right amount of sugar to go in our tea. Miss Courtney and I are going to enjoy this fish. We're going to enjoy some sweet tea. And we're going to enjoy another race Saturday night. You're going to race at Carnesville again, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. And you're going to win. Hopefully. Absolutely. Don't cheer me on. Whip them boys. That's right. I may get whipping when I get home, but I'm going to be cheering you on. So it's going to be a great Saturday night. This is a great recipe, guys. Love coming into your home. Bye-bye.